I think most boxing fans and people in the media are in agreement that we think that Devin Haney is going to win against Regis Progress. Um, but, you know, he always has a puncher's chance and he is capable of knocking Devin out. The question is going to be when he is on the inside, will he be able to capitalize every time? And if Devin Haney does stay on the inside way too long, will he make him pay for that? Because we know Devin Haney is a stick and move type person. He's about his range and he's going to try to beat Regis on the outside. The uh, weaknesses that Regis does have is he doesn't have um, good uh, foot move, good footwork. He is a he's very slow on the feet, bro. And um his head movement is nice, but I do feel like Devin Haney has more have better head movement, better upper body in general. He's just a more athletic, explosive fighter. Um if I was to compare the two, I would say that Devin Haney is a wide receiver and Regis Progress is a linebacker. You know what I mean? Like linebackers, they ain't they're they're not slow if you really know in the NFL. But they not just quick neither, at least not like um, a defensive back or a raw receiver. Um, and that's going to be the, the question of the fight. Will he be able to take advantage of when Devin gets cocky and leaves himself open after he tries to bring his jab? And Devin needs to try to stay away from uh, progress's um, overhand left. It's going to be a good fight, though. I think it's going to be close. I don't think there's going to be a knockout at all. Um, but if there is a knockout, I will give it to Devin Haney to get a knockout. But it would have to be in the earlier rounds. If it goes all the way at least to like 9 and 10, 10 rounds, I do not see Devin Haney getting a knockout. But regardless of how it goes down, um, whether it's a knockout or by decision, I see Devin Haney getting his hand raised.